And if I say that again, like, but for the sake of something else, I don't know, I can't be so sure what it is. It could be. It doesn't matter whether she likes or she's by. using you. You understand? Okay, guys, I just have one titty bitty favor to ask. Yeah? I just need somebody to catapult me into that lockdown mansion. Yeah? All I just want to do for just five minutes is to carry Lekon, put him across my lap, and whoop his ass properly because that guy needs proper whooping. In fact, he needs his mother to beat him properly, beat incense into his head because I don't know what the hell is wrong with this boy. Jeez. <laughs> It's not a game, it's a rich thing. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be frank with you. I am sick, like sick and tired of seeing Lacon rubbish himself and turn himself into Erica's food too. At this point in time, I have no choice but to say that Lacon is acting very, very stupid. He has moved past the stage of obsession to stupidity. Because the events of yesterday and today, guys, for me, I feel like there is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely freaking lutely no point whatsoever for Lekon to be giving Erica the amount of attention that he has been giving to her. It does not make any sense at all. I'm going to let you guys know about what I'm on about in this particular video. But before I continue, let me politely introduce myself, guys. Hi, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. And this is frankly speaking with glory this is where you get all the juiciest of the juiciest details of the ongoing big brother ninja lockdown show and um if you want to become a part of this family guys it's quite easy and it's completely free you're not paying any subscription fee like dstv so all you have to do is click on the red subscribe button at your own interface not this one on my on my on my video right now because it would not work you know but just click on the red subscribe button right and subscribe to my channel and if you always want to get alerts of my videos because i upload videos multiple times daily please click on the white bell button it is called the post notification bell click on that button and you will always get a lot of my videos if you're wondering about how beautiful this scarf on my head looks i sell vintage scarves and this one i'm tying currently is chanel i hope you can see the c and the h it's quite beautiful and very very classy and very very silky guys i sell my scarves for three thousand naira only but designer scarves like these ones i sell them for eight thousand naira and there are some that i also sell for ten thousand naira they're high and branded scars anyways guys um that said let's get into the video because i am so pissed at lake right now and also guys i'm going to share with you the conversation or should i say argument that prince and lucy had all because he won the arena games now guys yesterday erica was under the weather she wasn't feeling so great and guess what lake decided to cook pancakes for her he was literally taking care of erica while Kid Raya wasn't really taking care of her. Kid Raya was actually by her side, yes, but Lekon decided to throw himself into the picture of cooking for her, just ensuring that she was okay. And the rest of the housemates, they were seeing what was happening. And that was part of the reason why during um, the diary session that the housemates had to play Big Brother and housemates role, you know, to each other, um, Prince said to Erica yesterday, because Erica was um, Prince's Big Brother, you know, so that was why Prince said to Erica yesterday that if he had the magical power to break up a relationship in the house that he is not involved in he will break up the erica and kid wire's relationship and he said it that the, rela the relationship is all about infatuation on kid wire's part and for for priests to have said that guys i believe him because i've been saying that on my videos for so long you know i mean most of the things i see on my channel it's as if i'm inside the house but i'm not inside the house i mean this is pure psychology you look at people's body language you look at people's reaction to situations and then it tells you if they're actually acting genuine or not so prince coming from a dude's perspective who is inside the house was telling erica that all he sees is infatuation on the part of kid wire you know being in that space that they are being in that confined space that they are and then for him he cares about erica so much and he believes that she's gonna get hurt at the end of the day so prince was the only housemate that's been able to be bold enough to say it bad the way it is to erica you know and she was feeling very miserable yesterday so while she came out of the diary room she was hanging around lacon and this time around, guys, it wasn't Lacon that actually went to Erica. Although, he still finds himself in conversations where he has to bring up Erica's name once in a while. But this time around, Erica was the one that went to Lacon. So in other words, it seems like Erica is using Lacon as a rebound. 
oh i heard speculations about kid wire i'm not happy about what i'm hearing so let me go to the only person that i know trust um that i trust in this house or trust me in this house and the only person that cares about me in this house and that is lacon so she went to lacon she was with lacon most of the time guys and guys yesterday i felt like okay it's all good it's fine erica is not feeling too great yeah so um Leiko is going to be taking care of her somehow somehow although as i said kid wire also took care of her and pampered her and then today again they continued so it was just very very annoying and irritating and some of the housemates decided to advise Leiko. um neil and v had this to say to Leiko. talking as a woman the fact that you're with somebody else and you're trying to get the attention of somebody else so they can give you attention you'll be then you're using that person you see that cooking thing the thing was I don't even get any excuse. Yeah, yeah. She has her own bubble that can be taken. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Need you. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I know that Neo lies a lot. V also has her own lies to tell. In fact, every housemate in that house, they give one lie or the other. But the truth is, with regards to Lacon and Erica's situation, these housemates are not blind. They can see what's happening. You know, one minute Erica is coming over to Lacon, trying to, you know, be in his space. And then the next minute, she's on Kid Wire's laps and his arms. They are kissing right in front of Lacon. So I feel like there's a lot of emotional torture going on yeah, coming from Erica herself and Kidway has told Erica before give this guy space as long as all of us are in this house he will not be happy seeing both of us together you know, so the fact that Erica still goes and invades Lacon's space is something that the rest of the housemates do not like and they are trying to talk Lacon out of it in fact, yesterday afternoon they were having a conversation about who had the biggest crush on who in the house, you know and the housemates were talking about how four different girls, even five you know, had a massive crush on Prince the first week they got into the house, you know all the housemates were exposing each other Lucy and Praise, they were talking about you know, um, how they met each other the first time how they liked each other, everybody was just going on and on, and yesterday Lacon admitted that the truth is he still has feelings for Erica and these housemates are advising him that don't be too hopeful because nothing will ever come out of what you feel for Erica. Erica has chosen Kidwaya, which is okay because she's an adult. So she has a right to choose where her heart lies or her head lies or her body lies or her mind lies. You know, so you, Lacon, you have been permanently put in the friend zone. She's not going to remove you anytime soon. Even if there's no Kidwaya in the picture, Erica is not going to want to settle with you because you are not a spec. And this was the same thing that V and Neil were saying to Lacon. Even Prince also advised Lacon. You know, so guys, I don't know what's going to happen because at this point in time, a lot of I am personally tired. I am personally tired because I feel like at this point in time, Lacon's emotions are completely overriding his senses. I feel like he's not really seeing clearly. He's now basically myopic. He's not really seeing the bigger picture anymore. All he is hoping and praying for is for Erica to be done with Kid Wire so that Erica will come and, you know, take him up as her lover in the house. And I'm like, guy, you're too smart for this shit. You are too smart for this bullshit. Like, guys, seriously, as I said, I need somebody to catapult me into that house because I need to give Lacon some serious whooping. He needs some whooping. Seriously, another person that just got me completely off this afternoon was Lucy. So Lucy was having an argument with Prince regarding the fact that throughout this week, he's, he has to be pampered according to Biggie's instructions. Now guys, Prince's pampering came from the fact that he won the arena games. Now remember, the arena games, unlike last season where housemates would win um, Bet Ninja coins, this season, the reward for winning the arena games is you are going to be exempted from all chores throughout the week. In fact, beginning from Friday till the next week that somebody else is going to win the arena games another thing is that the housemate is going to be pampered by every single housemate everything the housemate eats their clothes will be washed by the other housemate in fact literally they're going to be treated like a king or a queen depending on the gender of the housemate that wins their food or whatever they eat in fact it is everybody is at their beck and call now when praise won he utilized his powers a bit but he was very very sentimental about it then the second time that ozor won or the second time somebody won ozor won it ozor did not use his his privileges he did not use it at all because he was head of house at that time and so because of that 
Biggie gave a warning last week Friday when Prince won that the person that wins the um, the arena games must exercise their authority and their privileges that comes with winning the arena games then he said that if they do not win it i think the um the the, the penalty for not using your exercise um, or exercising your powers is um probably um big is going to take away all your betway coins or something something but it was a very very um drastic penalty that was to come if the winner does not exercise their authority that comes with winning the arena games and